Hi everyone, I'm Nina. Hi, I'm Rebecca. We're here today to share Waffle Flower October release. Starting this release, we're going to divide our products into three bundles so you can save 10% on each bundle. We call them the Floral Bundle, the Whimsical Bundle, and the Creative Bundle. So let's get started with our Whimsical Bundle. The first set in our Whimsical Bundle is the Happy Fall set, illustrated by Cassie Loiseau. This set is based on the fun girl with winter coat image that Cassie illustrated earlier. And then she added the bear and all the fun elements for fall. It really includes everything about celebrating the start of the season, from hay bales to pumpkins to pies and so much more. Such as this cute scene created by Alex. I love how the bear and the mouse look like they're at a little farmer's market stand selling their wares. And the matching die cuts out all the little elements in this set. The next two sets in our Whimsical Bundle are from Illustrator Camo, and we are headed to China and Italy. Our Chow set has a really great combination of historical figures like Caesar, we have the Venus de Milo and monuments like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You can use these little figures to do love cards or engagement cards, or they can be Romeo and Juliet. And I love that the Chow sentiment can be die cut and it has that beautiful brush lettered font. I created a sample that looks like it's Polaroids from a visit to Italy. I love how the character is just picking out out of the out of the thing. It really brings the car to life. So fun. And here's how the die will cut out the little pieces. In the China set, we have the Gui Wall, a girl play Tai Chi, the Latin, two versions of Latin. I think this is actually the Good Wish Latin, that you actually sending a message to heaven. And these are three cute people images. This could be married couples. That's why we have the happily ever after sentiment there. And also the dragon as the, as the symbol of New Year and celebration and birthdays. I love how the sentiments are both in English and Chinese. I like how the characters are really small. So it makes coloring very easy on this set. I love how the ink blending creates a spotlight on your figures. Thank you. I love how Alex used our up and running enamel dots to mimic sparkling lights in the background. Cute. This is how the Ni Hao dies cut out the little images. Our cute little two by three set is Thankful Mouse illustrated by Cassie Loiseau. This mouse should be familiar to you. It is from the Happy Fall stamp set. You can see that in Happy Fall you can stamp the mouse and add the same little steam images to this mouse. What's great here is that these are going to be mirrored images of each other so you can stamp them having them face each other. And here's a sample Shannon did. And Shannon's card was created for a collaboration we have with some other stamp companies. We get together and create this Holiday Seals stamp set. And our little mouse is the same that you see on the Thankful Mouse set. As a last but not least, we also have a super fun scene building die from JJ Bolton. This is our four escape panel die and it works really well with all the critter images or people images that we have. Shannon used this die to create a cute forest scene for her Happy Fall set. I love how JJ used it to create a really wintry, pretty snowy scene using also the Happy Fall stamp set. So the girl with the winter coat can be really used on a lot of occasions. Absolutely. So I did a little paper piecing with the set that both JJ and Shannon, both JJ and Shannon choose to leave out this part, but I think it creates like a beautiful forma for winter. That's why I kept it on mine and just used a sentiment says sending paper hugs. I think it's so cute. But We'll get to this later, because it's <laughs> in our creative bundle. Okay. You can also use the Forest Gate panel die to just create a beautiful, bold, and graphic Christmas card. And I love how JJ decorated that central tree with ornaments. That's it for One Cycle Bundle for October 2019. We have Happy Fall, Ciao, Ni Hao, Thankful Mouse, and Forest Gate panel die. There are so many possibilities. We can't wait to see what you will create with them. 
This month, we have two flower sets illustrated by Kala Jiuduin for a floral bundle. The first one is Peony Bouquet. And the other one is a 3 by 4 stamp set called A Little Note. The thing they have in common is that they're all very detailed images so that it makes your coloring very easy. And this is how the matching die cuts out the little pieces. If you'd like to use them to make quick cards, you can just do some ombre stamping or some tone-on-tone -tone stamping and die cut them out. The details in the stamp set actually make a stunning image without any coloring at all. The Little Note stamp set is really easy to color. It's super quick, so I just stamped in gray on gray cardstock and did some no-line coloring with pencils. It's so pretty. Thank you. I like how Kiwi used the same image twice, but turned it 180 degrees to frame her sentiment. So clever and beautiful. And flower sets need sentiments. We have two sentiment sets in this release. First one is a big, bold and graphic Happy Thanksgiving from JJ Bolton. The second one is a very cute fall greeting stamp set illustrated by Cassie Loiseau. There are solid leaf stamps to help you create a scene for your Happy Thanksgiving just from the stamp set itself. Here are some design team samples. You can use the solid stamp leaves to create a really fun background, whether on white cardstock or craft cardstock. I like how you add some stitching for a warm feminine touch. I love how JJ created some really pretty leaves that look like they're turning colors by doing multicolor stamping. That's one of the things I love about stamping is you can have a lot of different inking techniques to make your stamp shine. I really love the size of the sentiment, whether you're doing a vertical or a horizontal card, it's a bold impact on your card. You can just do some heat embossing and some ink blending for a background. I like how Rebecca heat embossed the leaf in clear embossing powder for a subtle look. We love the four greeting stamp set so much that we create a matching die to, ma to cut out every little pieces. They're just so cute on their own and can be worked with many of our other images too. I love how Alex cut two panels on the side of her card to anchor the little leaf banner. Shanna used the leaves from the Happy Thanksgiving to create her background, but then used vellum to bring out her focal image from the four greetings stamp set. So pretty. I love Kiwi's soft take on fall greetings, and I also love how it looks like she's created a shadow box design. And she created the cool shadow box effect using our A7 die. Using our A7 layers die. This year's floral bundle, we focused on fall and Thanksgiving, but you can also use the images all year long. I will hope you enjoy this kit. Next is the bundle I'm most excited about is our creative bundle. Usually, we'll include very creative die cuts in there, sometimes stamps. Let's see what we have for this month. First up, we have the oversized thank you stamp set, and there's an oversized thank you word die. You can get them together in a combo. This is how the die cuts out. It's, uh, it's a little bit bigger than the stamp, so they're definitely not matching stamps and dies, but they're standalone ones. We want this because we can get the die a little bit bigger and don't have the limitation of the stamp set, so you can have more options for your card. JJ created some beautiful samples for us, such as this rainbow background thank you. On this one, I love how she used one of the leaves from the Happy Thanksgiving stamp set in soft rainbow colors with the big bulb thank you on top. I love the contrast too. Mm -hmm. I love here how Kiwi used the Peony Bouquet stamp set to create her background and then has the thank you die popped up in white on top. Love, love all the supplemental sentiments included in this stamp set. I did a camouflage the card with this big thank you and the brand new lettuce panel die. I die cut the sentiment from the striped pattern paper and then put the panel die on top to create my panel and then stacked the thank you sentiment on top with foam tape for a camouflaged look. Such a cool effect. Love it. Using the same panel die, I created another thank you card with the oversized thank you word die by cutting out some of the lattice background and then I used them as embellishments. So clever. Thank you. 
I love how Alex used the lattice panel die actually as an embossing folder with an embossing mat and then she ink blended over it. Yeah, the ink blending brings out the texture so pretty. Mm -hmm. But you're definitely not limited to just bold and graphic styles using this die. Look at how pretty and delicate it looks behind Kiwi's Ni Hao card. I like how the shape actually has a horizontal feel to it. Definitely. Next up is a very creative die we have. It's called Holiday Hugs, illustrated by JJ Bolton. Let's take a look to see how easy it is to put the card together. So first, trim a piece of cardstock to A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then cut a piece of red cardstock using the arm die and fold in the score line. Using the same die, cut another piece of the same color cardstock. This time, flip it over and fold it to create the other arm. This is how you're gonna create your fold. Using the piece of cardstock you have that's A2 size and, and the two edges, align it to the fold line, which is the score line, and add them to the back of your card and finish your fold. To make sure that it will close, you can kind of fold it all the way already and kind of slide this in slide the panel in, making sure the car can be closed when you stick it down. To customize your hug folds, we have two mitten dies so that you can create the right hand and the left hand mitten as well as two cuffs for the mittens. I also love that JJ included some standalone word dies in this set, love you and hugs. I love how Rebecca designed her card using the sentiments from the coordinating stamp set and the standalone word die. When the card is closed, it reads, All I want for Christmas is a hug from you. And when they open the die, you see, hugs for Christmas. So cute and clever. I love the surprise of opening the card. I love how easy it is to make a specialty fold like this without any measuring or scoring. Uh, if you want to cover the back of the edges, you can just cut another piece of A2 cardstock and put it on the back. You're not limited to plain cardstock colors. You can use pattern paper or embossing. It doesn't always have to be a Santa hug. It can be a wintry hug or a Christmas hug from a loved one. Such as these two cards created by Shannon, she actually used the lettuce panel die to create the texture for her for her sweater. It's like the quilted, like quilted pajamas, so sweet. Or just use the mittens on their own, like this pretty card from JJ. Last but not the list is the Go Girl Winter die designed by JJ Bolton. This is actually an and down die that was designed to go with two of the dies we had earlier this year. JJ first designed the Girl Girl stamp set that has fun face shapes and accessories with sassy sentiments. And then her die actually matches to create fun girl images, but can also be used on her own. Then she came out with the Go Girl Summer Die, which has two face shaped dies, additional hair styles, and a couple of shirts and body and glasses. This way you can use these two dies together to create lots of girl images. To go with all those girls that you create, JJ designed the Sisterhood stamp set has tons of fun and sassy sentiments. Love them. And now we look at it again with Go Girl Winter Die. The Polaroid is definitely fun. We also have some fun winter accessories. I also love that there is a coffee cup in here. Here on my card, I used all the accessories from the winter set, including coffee cups, the snow goggles, uh, knee cap, and a scarf. I think the, I used the face and a body dye from the GoGo -Go Summer dye to complete this thing. And of course, the Polaroid, I die cut it from pattern paper. I love how you did all the layers of dimension. Makes it really come to life. Yeah, I love, I love layers. Talking about dimension, Look at this card by Shannon. She created the back one using the four escapes panel die so that you can use it and for an A2 size the card or use it on a smaller scale like this. Such a cool scene. And it's a shaker too. 
Here JJ used the fun lip stamp from the Go Girl stamp set to create her face. So cute. The warm Christmas wishes sentiment from Holiday Hugs works perfectly here. I love on this one how she cut out the hugs die from Holiday Hugs on the bottom of the Polaroid. So cute. I love how she brings out the color from her pattern paper to make her car still clean and crisp. While we're going through the samples, we feel we should put all the stamps and dies that work together in a bundle for you to save 10% when you purchase this whole bundle. That includes the original Girl Girl stamp set and matching die, Girl Girl Summer die and Sisterhood stamp set, Girl Girl Winter die, and the Holiday Hugs stamp set. These, these are now in the Girl Girl bundle. As for October Creative bundle, you will get Oversized Thank You, Holiday Hugs, Lattice Panel Die, and the Girl Girl Winter Die. So that's it for Waffle Flower October release. We hope you enjoy this release and we'll have lots of fun with the products. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.